Hey everybody, this is Kelly from the Fuse Magazine and I'm sitting here with Dinosaur Pileup. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Really good. You like the weather up here? Yeah. yeah. It's hot. Very hot. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not for us. It's nice. Yeah, for us it's okay. But what is it over there? I mean, where you're from? You said Leeds? Uh, Leeds in the, in the UK, but we probably can't... Probably cold now. We live in London now. Okay. Yeah, it's probably getting cold. I don't know. We haven't been back for a while. Yeah. I would take this over, over that. You would? Yeah. Wow. 100%. It's iffy. It's iffy for me. <laughs> Alright. Biggest thing I want to ask you about, okay, when did you all come together? When did you decide this is what you wanted to do? Well, I guess we were all doing music independently before we knew each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd started Dinosaur uh, previous to meeting Mike and, and to meeting Jim. Uh, and we'd all, like, I was touring already, Mike was already playing in another band, and Jim was already playing in a, another band. And we all met through touring. I met Mike through playing a gig with Dinosaur and Mike's band supporting us. And I also met Jim actually in the same way. Just Matt just dangled loads of cash in front of us. Uh, yeah. We could not say no. Yeah. I was like, you want to make it big? <laughs> I want to make a book. <laughs> and then uh, we just met through touring and like Mikey joined the band quite soon after. And then Jim was still playing with other bands. And when those bands disbanded, we were old school friends. So we just kind of hooked up. I mean, I've, I've, I've wanted to play music since I was like nine years old. Yeah. So, and I imagine it's probably the same for you guys. So it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a lifestyle thing, right? more than like a career choice or whatever, being like, I want to be a, you know, dude in a band. Yeah. You just sort of are drawn to playing music the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're picking a, a job. Because you would not pick this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you really wouldn't. But you do it for the love, you know. When, okay, your album, what was, what did you decide that you wanted to make the album about in general? What did we want to make the album about generally? I mean... What did you think about before everything got started rolling? I mean, we were doing a lot of touring, weren't we? We knew we wanted to make a darker album because of that touring, every set that we were playing from uh, that year, we were just sort of making heavier. So we knew that the direction that we wanted to go was going to be that way inclined for the next record. Yeah, yeah. We we and and we we were just we were play you know going to record the album together and we were playing together a lot. And like Mike said, everything was just getting heavier and heavier, and it was obvious that that's what we wanted to do. You know. Your song Eleven Eleven. Um, I've read a lot about the whole Eleven Eleven thing. Um, I'm having a lot of 11-11 experiences myself right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean to you? Well, it's funny because we we found out about the whole all the theories about 11-11 and all the stuff about it after we'd like it had become significant to us. So the reason why we we have an 11-11 thing is because during that touring period when I was writing a lot of the ideas for the songs, we were on the road for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And we just all saw 1111 like everywhere you can imagine we would see it and like numbers, train platforms, like flight gates, anything. Yeah. So it, it just became like really significant to us. And therefore, because all the songs were written during that period of time, it made sense to us to call the album that because it was like the title of that period of time for us. It was only after that we kind of read about all the theories about it. And yeah. The fact that it's a thing, we didn't really know about that. I didn't know about it either until I started seeing it everywhere. Yeah. And then y'all's song came out, and oh, I was no like, <laughs> crap. <laughs> I start getting out, you know, Googling everything. 11.11 yeah. 11 about being angelic spirits around and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, and we like read about the first, because when we were like, this is a thing for us, we started reading about it. And the, the first thing I read was like that it's when you're like, creative energies you kind of reach a plane even yeah. though I, I, I don't necessarily believe in all that stuff I just thought that was kind of cool that it's about creativity and stuff for us obviously it was just about that period of time and kind of memories I guess because all the different places we were at like India Japan states uh, we went everywhere so for yeah, us it'd be it was silly things like being in India at the Taj Mahal and then yeah. the guy's like oh there's 11 spires on this side and then when you walk through there's 11 yeah. on that side yeah. and you're yeah. like well so for, yeah like that was one, that was one of the best ones actually yeah. yeah so like for us it was just 
it's about memories and those experiences we had together mm -hmm. rather than anything like spiritual or anything like that. Where do you see you going from here? 1212. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean creatively or, creatively. or literally? And personally <laughs> and creatively? Uh, I mean, creatively, I think we're definitely, you know, with 1111, we sort of, with the album, we sort of definitely became more focused as a band and like found more of our like identity, I think, and like found a more focused identity as a band. So I think musically we're sort of exploring that now so it does feel more focused so i guess that means it will probably continue getting heavier and it, it, you know yeah I don't know. what do you think that's fair yeah, yeah. i like that answer yeah, yeah. okay we'll go with that I thought mike was like oh god oh he's just sucking it in over there. <laughs> yeah so that jim's the brains of the whole operation yeah. he's just making sure we're not saying the wrong thing yeah he's just mind control yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I'm not really talking, it's just Jim. <laughs> Projecting. He has a little buzzer, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, uh, personally, personally, right after this, we're going into Philly. Personally. Personally. <laughs> Throw them together. Both words are good. Yeah, so like we're in Philly this evening, which is really cool. And then we're going to Columbus. Columbus, we're in the States Tomorrow. for the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. Then after the States, we're, we do UK, Europe, India, so it's Europe. So a whole lot of touring. A lot yeah. We're out to like December, then we're back in the States in January. So, yeah. How do your families like it or feel about it? Or Relieved, will y'all be gone probably. all the time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. They've forgotten who I am, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so postcards, right? Yeah, yeah. nope. <laughs> well, to Mitch. Kind of, <laughs> Mitch Bigland. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I know y'all got to move on. Yeah. And hit somebody else. Yeah. I appreciate y'all sitting down with me today. Of course, our pleasure. Okay. This is Kelly from the Fuse Magazine. These are the guys from Dial Store Pile Up, and we are up here at Rock Allegiance in Chester, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.